JunkfoodTaster.com and here we go my beautiful friends it's time again for Haribo and I've got four flavors here today with me so I got the Haribo Vampire then the Wackelgeister so I will yeah, translate it in a second here we got the Haribo French Fry Sour and the Haribo Colorado Maxi Pack. Okay. And now comes a little bit of backstory. So, actually, I decided to make this episode because I had this poll here, poll with image. Once a week, I post something like this. And this was a while ago. It got, look at this, it got 1620 votes. Uh, many thanks to all voters and so the winner of the sport was a Haribo with 59% uh, then second place was the Aldi burger and Kit Kat with both 17% and Lupi's snack uh, got 7% of the votes fourth place and <laughs> basically I also wrote down like the view count so the Haribo, the old Haribo video got almost 10,000 views. Very good. So the most viewed is also like the winner of the voting. And I will glue this into the logbook right now. So yeah, let's get the logbook. Let's get the right page. And it was episode 39. And I will put the little poll results here. I will glue this onto the back side. Alrighty, so it's all glued up with the glue stick. And let's put it here. Should I do this more often? Check out the results of the vote. <laughs> I guess I will do it for every vote I made. So I will put everything, I think I got four now. I will put also the other three in here as well but enough of this it's time for the review my beautiful friends and yeah i promise you a translation so i give you one so this is all of this german dish is like jello with um vanilla sauce topping and yeah also wobbly jelly so these are the wobbly ghosts by harry boo it says it's double delicious and it says uh, it tastes like wobbly jelly with vanilla hmm. so here's Haribo beer carrying them around and let's eat off these wobbly ghosts here they are again so there's woodruff lemon and raspberry okay Raspberry first. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 definitely the vibes of this dish. Awesome. So you got the soft marshmallow style. Vanilla, it's not vanilla marshmallow, it's awesome. Yeah, this tastes very good. And um, now Woodruff. So, I, I guess I cut, I should cut something else now. Mm -hmm. Always cut stuff. Yeah, the wood roof is in the finish. Develops as a aftertaste. Very nice. And um, what did I didn't try? Lemon. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the win. Also, um, no. Yeah, Harry got this fancy ingredients list with like 
sweet potato and stuff. Now, now a little bit is sticking my throat. <coughs> okay. So next up, I think we do the Colorado in the end. It's got a lot of different things in. Here got the vampire, and this must have been for Halloween or something. And it's fruit gum with licorice. And here's Haribo bear again and Haribo guy. Having fun. And it's also three flavors, apple, lemon and cherry. So this is a joke about Dracula. It's now called Draculicorish. Okay. I saw a, a, a movie about Dracula the other day on Netflix. This was crazy. Like it was a modern one. Okay, let's eat this. Okay. Consistency is nice. That's yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely interesting to have this licorice taste alongside the fruity jelly. A little bit distracting. I would say this is gourmet. Last one is cherry oil. So cherry come to me. So I guess we have a little look at the shape in detail. Aha, say the bed, this is the head of the bed. Sort of the legs. Yeah. So, beds are very cute animals, aren't they? So, this will get warm here. Now, then, some our french fries. Wow, wow, no. Uh, so many flavors. So pineapple, orange, lemon, grapefruit, peach. I think I will go for the pink one. Um, say opening doesn't work. Very good. I will eat grapefruit. How look how intense it is, basically. Yeah. Yeah, wow. So, this is rather untypical Haribo. This is intense. This is intense fruit taste. And sour at the same time, of course. Oh, five flavors. Let's do pineapple and peach. Pineapple now. Yeah, yeah, nice. This is a shockingly good product. So the packaging, you would say it's like the packaging looks a little bit weird. I would say the design compared to the other stuff is a little bit off, but the product is awesome. This was pineapple. So peach is green. Yeah. This tastes like, um, give me a second. They're like here, apple rings, and this has also another flavor, peach rings. This is now the competitor trolley. 
but it tastes exactly like these peach rings. I'm even not sure whether Haribo got his own apple rings. Hmm. Anyways, so it's just do the orange, orange and lemon, orange. Or say it's juicy orange. Mm -hmm. This I don't know. If I would have guessed it, I, I think I wouldn't have guessed that this should resemble orange. And now lemon. There we go. Okay. Lemon is um standard issue flavor. Tastes like normal gummy beers. Or almost a little bit. Hey, I remember that this was a win as well, a big one. Yeah, everything is with this acid powder. Can you see it? Yeah. Now Colorado. I think it's now overkill. I three product review we have would have been enough, but anyways. Um yeah. So this is a maxi pack. I guess I will put this all after I finish the review I will put this all into these bags here and reclose it. Yeah. Because obviously you can't eat it all at once. We have to take a couple of days. What happened here? Production fail. Yeah, this is like a gummy co coated in the sugar pearls, but production fail version. Yeah, and you have really nice things here. So this is actually some licorice candy I enjoy to eat. What's this filling? We said the other way around. This is a sweet filling in little liquor, licorice core. The same as here. So layer, sweet, licorice, sweet, layer, and so on. And then you have, of course, the straight up licorice. Actually, this Colorado is like the only licorice product I enjoy to eat, I have to say this. Um, they're like they're like true licorice products, intense ones for like adult audience, and I I generally cannot eat this. Oh, nice cut. I always cut stuff. Looks funny, doesn't it? <gasps> so here we go. Maximum zoom. Yeah, this is also like sugar. It's nice taste and sugar coating. Then you got your gummy bears. Well, the same concept like the wackle. The wackle ghost. But these are old school. These have just marshmallow. This is vanilla marshmallow. It's really something special. Um, this is just sugar. But this taste it's kind of nice. Nice way to eat sugar. I always cut stuff. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what the white substance is or what it's called. Yeah, it's not a marshmallow, it's sort of a hard sweet substance. It tastes very good when you chew it. Um, Oh. A special unique experience. Yeah. Okay. I'm not quite sure what I, I give Colorado. Um, this is like a very old flavor. This is a very old variety. This is like the. This is like the um, 
granddad of the variety packs. I'm not quite sure whether this was the first ever, but it must be around. For me, it's around forever. Yeah, variety pack with candy and licorice. All right, so I guess I give the Colorado also win because uh, yeah, many candy products I would say are nowadays obsolete because they are more fancy ones. But so, sort of Colorado stood its ground for so many decades. Um, yeah. Well, I'm mixing everything. I'm not quite sure what kind of consequences this will have on the taste. Yeah. So eating here the cut, the cut stuff. Alrighty. This is the first time I'm doing something like this, collecting everything in a bag. This is a big bag of candy. This smells interesting. This feels this feels very interesting to touch the gummy candy under the film here. So, I I don't know. I put this into the fridge for what? <laughs> ah, look at this! <laughs> I put it in, into the fridge for whatever reason. Let's, uh, I now uh, clean the table and then we do the lockbook thing. Alrighty, so here comes the lockbook. So I'm just turning every page. And this one was the episode 58. And it was win. And what did I say? Gummy. So vampire was gummy. Vampire and all the others win. And the names were the wackel pudding. This one's really innovative. Was just a small change, the vanilla marshmallow, but very effective. Then the Colorado. Colorado. So funny, they named it after US state, didn't they? <laughs> Why? And what did I forget now? I got four. No, <laughs> lol. I'm brain blocked right now. So in the last one was the sour pommes. Okay, so I can't, can I read this in afterwards? Pommes. The pommes is like a Belgian word for french fries, I think. Pommes frites, potato, fried potato. But this has nothing to do with the potato, was just gummy candy. And yeah, I don't actually know what to do tomorrow. Um, let me think. So let's do this here. This is uh, another fancy microwave dish. Um, yeah, it's this company which makes this expensive five euro microwave dishes. And this is another German cuisine thing. This is Sour Brighton. <laughs> yeah, I will get you proper translation when it's time. Thanks for watching the Harry Bow video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this 1000 video challenge. 
and I guess it's really doing wonders for my channel. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon.